I mean, where is he? I've lost the signal now and I'm down here. Oh, Jesus. Oh. All right, it's just a spade fish. <laughs> Welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz and this is Subnautica. Now, I said I wasn't sure if we're going to carry this on or not. It's never going to get as many views as what Fortnite Save the World gets on my Fortnite Battle Royale stuff or anything like that. But I am just loving this game so far. So for you dedicated few that are watching this, I'm just going to keep it going because it's so much fun to play. I'm going to keep the other content on there as well. But obviously, I just want to run this as a little series. Now, in the last episode we were waiting for another message because the sunbeam said it was going to try and pick us up now i've since got that message but i've also got as well if we have a look on here the blueprints to actually make a vehicle bay i believe and i think i've got all the stuff now to actually make it look it's there mobile vehicle bay so i need a, a titanium ingot i need lubricant and a power cell and then we can also then make a seamoth and i need just two bits of glass to actually make that. I'm still not really there with the buttons yet. <laughs> so there might be a few misclicks. So two bits of glass. I think we can make everything that we need. So I'm going to try right now. So it comes under deployables. Mobile vehicle bay. Here we go. Whoa. That is extremely small for a vehicle bay. So do we have that now? So I need to deploy that outside. So I may as well put that like, I don't know. Should I just put it here? Doesn't really help you on where to put stuff. Uh, assign quick slot, drop. How do I deploy it? Oh, okay. So it's in my hotbar now. So do I just go on it and use it? Oh. Oh, yeah. All right. So where's my life pod gone? Life pod's there. Vehicle bay's there. Perfect. And we can get on board this. Oh, look at these things. Use vehicle bay. Okay. And this hopefully will make us a Seamoth. Oh, so I need titanium ingots and a power cell. Well, we're going to need to do that, right? Before we open the radio message. So let's get in. Oh, wow. Look at us surviving. So titanium ingot and a power cell. All right. I know there's a radio message. I've not forgot. So what can I make here? A power cell. So I need a battery. I need two batteries. I don't think they need to be full. So I have got batteries somewhere. We've got the empty batteries from before. Look, there's one. That's got 1% charge in it, so we'll take you. And then we need another one, which I think I've got out here. So let's have a look. Yes, look. It's empty, but I don't think it matters. Ugh, right, up we go, up we go. Yes, look, I can make a power cell now. So we'll make a power cell. Then we just need titanium ingots. How many of those do we need? And how do we make those? We need 10 titanium. How much have I got? God, all that titanium that we picked up along the way. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Of course we've got nine. All right. Let's see if we've got any in these two boxes out here. That's 10. Good. All right. We might need... I think we need two of them. I don't know how many of these builds... All right, I'm doing this pretty quickly because I want to. I'm excited. I want to get this Seamoth up and running. <gasps> All right, so that's ten tats. No, how many is that? How many does that make? One titanium ingot. Do I need two? Maybe I need two. Let's go and check. Where's the vehicle been gone? <laughs> God, we're so bad for getting lost. Right here we go. Oh, right. Oh, it's lit up. We can do it. The Seamoth is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Oh, look at that. He's building it. Oh, I've got to get inside. I've got to get inside. I've got to get inside. Look at this. So we access upgrades. Okay, I want to get in. I don't want to access upgrades. Seamoth. Enter Seamoth. Oh, ho, ho. Captain. Thanks, Paddy. Wait, you're not Paddy. You're the Seamoth. Oh, yeah. All right. You can be Martha. We'll call the Seamoth Martha. All right, let's get out then. I'm going to need a spare power cell, so I'm going to try and make another one. Uh, if we can. So I've got one battery there. I need another battery. Oh, batteries are just going to be a thing, aren't they? We're going to need so many of those. 
to power up now the Seamoth and the Sea Glide. Uh, all right, let's just work out our hotbar then. So we'll do Sea Glide, Scanner, Knife. Don't really need need the repair tool. Oh, I've got this Habitat Builder as well. I've got no idea how to use that yet though. So we'll work on that maybe later. Uh, and we'll take the flashlight as well, because why not, right? Um, okay, radio message. No, we need a power cell. We need a power cell. So how do we make a battery then? So I need to make a battery because I want a spare power cell. Two acid mushrooms. I've got the rest for it. Okay, cool. Acid mushrooms are so easy to get. You just find them on the top of these little rock things, look. So one, two. There we go. And then we'll go and make another battery. And that should make us a power cell as well. So there we go. So make the battery, then a power cell. That way the Seamoth is not going to run out. I need silicone rubber. Damn it. Have I got that? I need two of. Oh, I've got one. Of course I've got one because I need two. Um, all right. Let's jump in. Silicone, whoa, silicone rubber. So let's have a look. Nope, not in there. Silicone rubber. Damn it. How do we make it? Can't even remember what we did to make that. So how do we make silicone rubber? Silicone rubber, silicone rubber. And then this one. Oh, we need the creep vine stuff. Okay. Okay, we've only got 38% power on this. So we may as well... We might need to go and get two lots of this. But it's the yellow stuff, isn't it, that we need? So it's like these bits down here. Oh, salt. Always need salt. So it's these what we need. One, two, three. I'll take four because you never know. Oh, and look, the Seamoth comes up. Look. Good. We're surviving. Wow. All right. Loving this Seamoth so far. Okay. So use the fabricator then. So now I need to make silicon rubber. Two of. There you go. That's the rubber made. So can we now make... Another power cell. Did I want to do that? I don't think I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so I've got a spare power cell now. And now I want a battery. Just a normal battery. Two more acid mushrooms. Okay. We can get rid of the... Uh, we can get rid of the creep vine stuff now. So we can drop that. We just need now the acid mushrooms to make a battery. And then I've got a spare battery and a spare power cell. And we've got food... Okay, I think that's going to run the battery down because we've got lights on there. Can I turn the lights off? Ah, easy. Right, okay. Could maybe do with some food. What the hell? Why is that noise here? That's a Leviathan, isn't it? Okay, that's probably one of those reef backs. All right, I'm just looking for a peeper real quick. Oh, there's one, look. They glow up. It's really bad, like, their survival thing. Mother Nature's not giving them a good hand. There you go. And I find it's better actually swimming after these rather than using the sea glide. They're, like, easier to catch. There you go. All right. So let's go and cook these two. We'll eat them. We've got some water. I've got loads of water. So we'll drink some water. And then we can go and get this radio message. Oh, look at the creep vine. Did you see it? All right. Use the fabricator to make a battery. Because I think we're going to need that. Then we're going to make some food. Because we're going to eat it right now. So we may as well just cook it. And cooked peepers are by far the best food. Cooked food. Cooked peeper. So we'll eat the two peepers. Drink the water. And we're good. So cooked peeper. Consume. Consume. So our food's on full. How's our water doing? Alright. I'll use one of these. Right, so everything's on full. We've got a vehicle bait. We've got a seamoth. We're, we're cooking on gas right here. Okay, here we go. Let's listen. Distress call. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Data bank. So we've got to go and find life pod six then. All right. So let's just get on this. Seamoth's there. Where is it?
It said life pod six. We've searched these three. Oh, so we've got another message. Oh my god. All right, stay with it. Okay. Officer Keenan, life pod nineteen. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. Oh. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Okay. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Thanks, Paddy. All right. So we should have a location now. Oh, here it is. Look. So we'll put that in red because we've not got it yet. And I'm sure there was another live pod. Where's live pod six? Um. Okay. I have no idea where live pod six is. We've got a cured peeper there, so that's good. I don't think I'm going to need this coral tube sample or any of the other stuff, so I don't know what we're going to collect along the way. So I'm going to try and just bank a lot of this. There we go. I need the full batteries, which we've got. Don't need those. So all I've got now is stuff that's imperative to my survival. Okay, good. All right, so let's get in the, let's get in Martha then. And uh, let's see if we can find where this signal is. Okay, I'm seeing nothing. Oh, there it is, look. Our suit, by the way, at the minute. Now, we've got a radiation helmet. Oh, uh, do you know what? Okay, we'll be fine, right? We'll be fine. So it's... Whoa. So it's a thousand meters this way. I can't tell if the light's on or not. Oh, now it is. Okay, so I guess we head this way then. Oh, look, it's the reef backs making the noise. That's cool. Alright, is that a stalker trying to get us? Yes, it is. We're in the Seamoth now. Martha will keep us safe. Oh, look at all this stuff, though. We could really do we get in this. Really? I should have... Oh, it's a sand shark. Okay, okay. We're good. Whoa. How did I not see that reef back? I'm lost. Alright, here we go. Alright, so let's get over here and we should be fine. Whoa, so dark down here. Oh my days, look at this place. I can't even see this. Oh, I can see the surface. All right. All right, well, we'll just head in straight for it. I'm not really seeing much now, but we are in a seamoth. What depth are we at? 140, 150. All right, well, that's not good. Oh, look at all this wreckage, though. All right, so we've got a lot to investigate here. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, what do you mean hull damage? So I can't even get down there. Um. Oh, damn it. All right, I need to get back then, I guess. I mean, can I swim down to that? Let's have a try. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. So it's... Oxygen greatly decreased. Okay. So dark down here. Right, I need the scanner on. Moon pool fragment. What's a moon pool? All right, well, it looks cool. Okay. Prawn suit torpedo arm fragment. <laughs> What's a prawn suit? What a name for something. All right, there's a lot of stuff down here. Oh, there's a radio. Is that a radio? Okay, that's like our radio. Alright, so there's a lot of stuff here. I don't think I can get in there. Where's Martha? I don't even know now. Oh, look, something's there. That needs to be scanned. 30 seconds. Damn it! Alright, we need to find Martha. Martha's there, look. I think Martha gives us oxygen. So we can always come back down. Oh, yeah, look, oxygen goes back up. I can't go any lower than this. Really, just because of the depth, he starts taking damage. But I'm using the lights from the Seamoth, from Martha there, to actually help us out while I scan everything. Another moon pool fragment. What is a moon pool? <laughs> All right. Well, we can do a moon pool now. Good. Got another piece of something. All right. Prone suit torpedo arm. I think we've done that already. I don't know how many pieces we need of that. Another moon pool fragment. 
Okay. Is it like to scan all these things again? I feel like we've scanned them already. Oh, look. Oh, what is that? No signal. Oh, water. Thanks. Chairs, we've got loads of those. Alright, is there nothing in here of any value? Oh, cut open to access. 30 seconds. Damn it. Alright. Let's get back to Martha. Go, 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 go. Wow, I'm just like kind of grabbing oxygen and then going back. Oh, look over there. So, th is that what, have we searched that already? There's like some sort of PDA over there or something. Alright, I don't know if you guys can see it's over here. I think we've scanned everything that we can. Yes, Paddy, I know you don't have to keep saying it. We get it. Thermal plant fragment. I can scan all this several times. This is weird. Oh, we haven't got this. Data box. Okay, thanks. Alright, well, maybe we've got to swim down to that thing then. Have I scanned these things? Are these them spade fish things that we saw? And can we eat a spade fish? I don't even know. Okay, I think it's time to go a little bit lower. Alright, we've scanned the table already. There's nothing else to scan. Floodlights? Oh, yeah. Alright, I'll take it. Alright, we can make floodlights now. Oh. Okay, I got this. Oh, right. I can hear those reef backs. It's kind of comforting hearing the reef back. I'm not overly worried right now. All right, I'm going to try and get to the message signal now because it's down there somewhere. Oh, look, there's another bit of wreckage there. All right, maybe we should go to that first. Got to be something in here, right? Is that just salvage? Can we scan this? Nope, can't scan you. Okay. Oh, salt. Oh my days. I'm not going to make it down there and back up. I can't even come down here for long enough. Cut access to open. Okay. I don't think there's anything else here and I can't swim down to it. I need some way of diving deeper. What are you? Some sort of chair. Okay, we've got more salt there. Oh, we've got more wreckage. What we like on oxygen? Do you know what? We'll be okay. Okay, is that empty? It is. God, there's so much to this game. Damn it. What are those? Eye stalks. Alright, we're going. We're going. We can make it. Oh, no! Yes! <laughs> that was so near. There's just so much to search in this game, though. So where were we? Were we down there? I think that's where we were. And look, there's more wreckage there. I haven't done yet. All right. Yes, I know. But what were those stalk things? What are these? Oh, they're just rocks. Okay. Sandstone junk. Well, I guess we'll take you. What's that? Lithium, okay. Alright, I don't know what we need lithium for, but it looks precious. Quartz, we can get that. Oh, what is that? There's bubbles coming up from it. Can I breathe if I go over that? Alien vent. Alright, that needs to be scanned. What is that? There's noises coming from it. Can I get down it? No. Oh, look, there's brain coral. You're a gel sack. You are a total gel sack. <laughs> All right, let's get back up. I don't think we're going to make it this time. We might be chancing it a little bit. I know. Oh, it's on six. Get into zero again. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I can't really do much down here unless we can dive for further or get some sort of different mask I'm guessing we have to get and then maybe come back to here. We're not going to lose it because we've got the thing there, so we should be all right. I'm going to go back and see about building maybe a habitat or something. All right, so the power on this is fine. Oh, is it damaged? 
Let's just get out. We've got a repair tool on us. Did I bring the repair tool? Repair tool. Let's put that in where the flashlight. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm still learning the buttons, people. I'm still learning the buttons. Where's it gone? Repair tool. There, number four. Okay. So if I pull out number four... Oh, look, it was damaged. We must have hit something. Or maybe it was the stalker that got us. Oh, there's so much going on right now. So we've got another radio message. Look, it's come up there on the right-hand side. So we need to go and check out that radio message, I think. All right, and let's get some uh, let's get some altitude. <laughs> oh my days! So the power cells last for quite a long time, and we've got lithium. What is that? Have I ever got that before? It's like a dark rock. Break shale outcrop. Good, three million credits. I can pay that. I got three million credits. I wonder if they actually make the uh, the workers pay for them. If Altera make employees kind of pay for that kind of stuff. I hope they don't. I wonder if we'll even find out. Okay, I've kind of lost the life pod. There it is. Okay, I guess there's no point having the lights on. Oh, wow. Reef backs. Still look amazing. That one's going super fast. All right, how far away? 200 meters, which in the Seamoth is nothing. Okay, we're needing water. I think I can see it. Yeah, I can. Oh, it's much nicer in the shallow water. <laughs> okay, I'm making sure the light's off. I don't know if that runs the battery down or not. Okay, so there's the life bay. Can we make some sort of suit then? I may as well just leave Martha here. Okay, Martha, I'll be back. I'll be back. All right, so let's get in here then. All right, now can we make some sort of deep dive suit? Radiation suit, rebreather. I think we've got that already. Conserves oxygen when diving deeper. Oh, what have we got at the minute? Oh, so we could build that. Right, that'll help us. So what do we need for that? What do we need for the rebreather? I want that. I want a rebreather. Um, it was this one. A wiring kit and fiber mesh. Wiring kit, silver ore. I know we've got that. And then fiber mesh. Creep vine, two of. Okay, we can do that. So we need silver ore, which we've got in here. I'll just take them both. Just for now. Oh, we need to drink the water. All right, drink water, drink water, drink water. Drink water. All right, we need to go and get some creep vine. And then we can make a rebreather. Then we can go down lower anyway. Okay, so three. There's a stalker right there. I see him. One, two. That'll be enough. All right, let's head back to the life pod. I can hear him chasing us. All right, we're not doing bad to say we've crash landed on a planet with nothing but water and a life pod. We're doing okay right now. All right, so I can make the wiring kit now. So wiring kit first, and then the fiber mesh, then we've got the rebreather, then we can dive a little bit deeper. Should have done this before, really. Fiber mesh, okay. Fiber mesh, fiber mesh. There we go. And now we can make the rebreather, and we'll take that with us. How much room does that take up in the actual backpack? Ah, oh, loads, good. <laughs> all right, let's put some of the precious stuff in here, because we don't want to die and lose it all. We've got lithium. What was that? Diamonds. Not really going to be useful to us here, but okay. Do you know what? I'm going to keep the salt on me because we can use that when we get food. So glass and everything else we can leave in there. Um, food and water. We're okay. We've got the we've got the peeper there and we've got some water. So we're okay for food. I'm going to take the nutrient block just in case. We'll get rid of the gold. Oh. All right. I think we're okay. Turn that light off. Put the knife on. Right, so we've got a mask now. So we can go back there, but we'll see what this radio message is first. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... 
Well, it's better than the alternatives. Huh? I've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Ha! Ah, so that should that, that could be the rescue then. I mean, I'm sure it's not going to be plain sailing, because that would be a really short game. Unless Subnautica is a short game, I don't know. But we've got 40 minutes. Now, maybe that's going to give us time to go back with our new mask. I mean, how far away is it? Oh, that's the Sunbeam landing site over there. 1,463 meters away. That's quite a way. Oh, look, he's trying to get our thing. Get away. All right, let's just scare him off. Go on, go on, scram. Uh, let's get on the vehicle bay and see what that moon pool thing was. I don't even know what that is. Is that a vehicle? Okay, vehicle bay. All right, no, it's not. All right, maybe we should use the habitat tool and build some sort of, like, platform where we can live. Oh, there's so much going off right now. Okay, so this is all our things. So we've got Martha, we've got the life pod, we've got the vehicle bay, and I've got the things. Two, like, storage boxes there. So we could do with a platform to actually build. Now, where's the Aurora? We don't want to be too far away from that. So which way? How'd you lose? Stop! <laughs> I just don't seem to be able to stay submerged. Alright, so the Aurora's there. So we need to get into deeper water, really. Maybe here. Might be good to use our habitat tool, but we're going to need salvage, I think. Oh, there's so much. So much! This game is massive. So maybe somewhere here. So the life pod's up there, and we can maybe build some sort of base here. I don't think this would hurt. Oh, that's one of them biter fish things. Get away. So we're going to need metal salvage. I don't even know what to do first. Oh, we've got 37 minutes to get to the island. And it is a real 37 minutes by the look of it. So we have got plenty of time. Do you know what? We've got the rebreather mask. Let's go and look at that wreckage. Thanks. Let's go and let's go and see if we can get down to that life pod now. Now that we've got the new mask on. Then we'll come back and then I will actually do the... I'll actually get a base or some sort of base-like thing set up later on afterwards. Whoa, look at that thing. I say wow every time I go past them, but seriously. Oh, we got a sand shark down there again. And he hurt us last time, so we need to be careful of that. Oh my god, look how deep that is. Lights on, lights off. Lights on, lights off. It makes no difference. I can see more bubbles this way. Oh, this is a different one. All right, we're not going to reach this, I don't think. Or is it? Is this the same one? I don't even know. Maybe it is. Now, look, I'm just concerned about the depth here. Because we're at 180 now. Is this where we were before? So I need to get down there. I mean, it is just pitch black. I can't see nothing in front of me, look. All right, so I need to put this new mask on and the rebreather. And that'll help us with our oxygen efficiency. Do I really have to go down there? All right, well, we're pointing the lights at it. I guess we just do this then. Do you know what? We've got the... We've got the sea glide, right? I mean, where is it? I've lost the signal now and I'm down here. Oh, Jesus. Oh. All right, it's just a spade fish. <laughs> All right, I've kind of lost the signal. Enter the Seamoth. So I can't get that way. Maybe there's another way down. Oh, it must be this way, look. So the signal's kind of in between there and there. Oh, look, that one goes deeper. I need to get as low as I can without hitting the 200 meter mark. So maybe we can get to like 19... Whoa, 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 whoa. So maybe about there. All right, here we are. So we're only 90 meters away from it then. Oh, this is it. Look, I found it. I found it. All right, good. Jesus, so we've got an abandoned PDA. It's broken inside. We've got another PDA. Oh, water signal. 
Right, let's get the scanner on. The light on, on Martha is not actually penetrating all the way down here. Got another data. So three data banks. What is that? It's something red. A ruby. Oh, wow. We'll take you. Can I take you? Yes. All right. I don't know if that stuff's okay. Time capsule. Okay. All right. The oxygen's lasted ages now down here. So that's good. What's in the time capsule? Open it up. Oh. A blueprint for a stasis rifle. And I'm sure I saw something about wire cutters there as well. Can we scan anything in here? Is there anything that needs to be scanned before we leave? Because I don't want to come back here. One more day. Thanks, Paddy. Motivational speech. Always, always uh, welcomed. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to collect all this stuff off the edge. I don't even... I think that's just quartz. So I'm just looking for the rubies. God damn it. All right, let's get back to Martha then. So I think we've got everything we've got. We've got new coordinates uploaded. That looks so frightening. All right, so we can kind of get out of here now. Whew. Aurora rendezvous point. Yeah, we know about that, but I want to get back to the life pod and we'll go back there later. What's our inventory looking like? Prone suit drill arm. Enables the mining of large resources. Huh. Okay. Oh, we got a laser cutter. Where was that other signal? Oh, I'm so lost right now. Okay, so we can use that laser cutter then to actually cut through some of the doors and stuff that we saw. Okay, we got a reef back there. I just can't see a thing out here. So we've got a real life 30 minutes to wait till the sunbeam comes to get us then. So as long as we're at that rendezvous point half an hour from now, then we should be absolutely fine, right? So I'm going to end the episode here. So I'm going to get back to the actual life pod. Just sort out our inventory and make sure we've got everything we need. Make sure that we're fed. Maybe listen to the other radio message, or should we save that for the next one? Wow, this is like so fast compared to the Sea Glide. Good going, Martha. And the battery holds up for ages. Look at it. We still got 83% power and a spare battery. I just wish it had a gun on so I could zap those things. <laughs> All right. Don't do it. I'm going to turn the lights off as to not attract them. Not that I think that'll work. I find myself just getting out there and stabbing them with a knife. All right, here we are. Home sweet home. Okay, I don't think the stalker followed us. All right, let's grab a peeper to eat now. Two of them over there. Ah, oh, I missed him. Come on. Oh, did I get him in midair? Did I catch him in midair or did I not? Maybe I didn't. Oh, I am getting you, though. Yes. All right, good. Oh, I hear a stalker. I like the fact now we just kind of fight the stalkers when we see them. When they were scaring us in the first episode. Come on, me, bro. Come on, me. Yeah, that's right. You will run. You will run. There. Yeah, goodbye. Ooh. Okay, so we're back then. Okay, so things I'm going to leave then. Uh, Ruby, all the precious stuff I'm trying to kind of leave here. Um, and all the things that I don't want to lose, if you know what I mean. So if I actually go out there and die for whatever reason, you keep all your main materials, but you will lose a lot of the other stuff. They're just raw peepers. So if I cook those, and we consume the water. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I hit the nutrient block. So we'll drink the water, put two more waters over there. Do you know what? We're good. We've got everything. We've got food and water. I'm just going to cook this... Uh, I'm going to cook these cured peepers. Then we've got plenty of food when we go for the sunbeam journey. 
and that should be it. All right, then, guys. So everything's good so far. So we've got a Seamoth. We've got a Vehicle Bay. I've got a Habitat Tool. I've got a Laser Cutter. I've got pretty much everything that I think I need for the next mission, for the next part of the game, if you like. <laughs> so we're waiting on the Sunbeam. Guys, again, let me know in the comments down below. Try not to put spoilers in the game, because just appreciate I've not played it yet. We have had one or two in there, but I just kind of want to play through the game at this pace. Uh, if you're playing the game and you're at the same part of me, is there anything cool that's happened to you yet? Is there something that I've missed? Because if there's something I've missed, then that I would need to know. That would be awesome. But guys, massive, massive thank you for the support on this series so far. Really enjoying it. I think we're going to carry it on. Whatever it stays this interesting, we'll carry it on. But do you know what I mean? I've really enjoyed showing you guys and actually talking to you guys about it. But a massive thanks for watching, guys. If you're not part of the Lutana Army already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching now, guys.